What's up, Reefers? Welcome to another episode of Alex Pora Corals. This is Alex Wilson, your host, and this is more of the good, the bad, and the ugly. I'm a newer reefing. That's right, you heard it right, where I'm adding dehydrated chicken manure to my reef aquariums to see what happens just for fun. Here we go. So today here I have this CO2 monitor that I bought on Amazon and it was just about $50. It's just Chinese. Um, this one's called the, the air detector. Um, it's just one that looked fairly good and it was, and it was cheap and and it has on there humidity as well as a temperature. Although I saw that the temperature, we can't switch it over to Fahrenheit, it's just Celsius. So that's that's something to remind, to, to remember, you know, I, sh I should have got one that had that. But oh well, it should be okay. But the idea is that it also has a color indicated there saying, you know, whether it's green, like a dark green, light green, orange, and then red. Get, to be kind of just uh, color indicators on, on whether it's um, where it's at, too high in the danger zone, good. So, but the idea, I don't know how much I can actually trust this uh, cheap uh, sensor, you know, on the actual parts per million of the CO2 in the house, but that it should be a good indicator, relative indicators such that you, I, you should be able to see if it starts to um, rise from where it's showing it now. Um, you know, and the idea is to give me an indicator as to how well uh, my, uh, how much fresh air I got in here, how much CO2, and how well my fans are pulling out air. In, in this case, I'm running the, the fans and the, in the, the silent fans in the restroom fans that I have going that seem to be working pretty good. So I, re I took this one outside, it's portable, it's just a, a USB uh, charging little sensor and it's showing the same parts per million so hopefully the, my, the CO2 is the same as the inside and the outside. Of course, um, if I was really interested in this, I'd recommend getting like like two different brands, that way I could compare the results of the two or, or get one of the higher quality, uh, really expensive uh, sensors. So yeah, I'll keep keep an eye on that. Hopefully this will give me an indicator on as far as the CO2 goes. So what else do we got here today? Yeah, let's check it out. I've got the quarantine system and it's it's the same, no updates here. Uh still same thing. But I get a quick shot of them. This is that pink. It's a pink Ganyopora. I remember I got that tidal garden. So thanks, Dan. It's looking good. Hopefully it'll grow out nice and big. And one of the mushrooms there sticking up. All right, let's check out the main display here. So first I want to start, well, here we go. Let's go with it. Main display here. What do we got? What I got here is a uh, really algae bloom the algae bloom that's hitting the glass and it's it's sticking to the green greenish and brown it's probably more green than anything and it's just a, like a really dusty diatom and it's kind of annoying because I I haven't hit the glass yet or anything but it's not more than just like to the next day it's it's, it's like this again but I hit the glass like this, and yeah, you know, by the end of the day, I mean, it's only been like, like four or six hours later, it's back like this again. So it's pretty, and you know, I'm not running any uh, mechanical filtration. Well, I am, but just the real, uh, the real thick stuff, you know, the real black, uh, coarse um, media. So I'm not running any of the, of course, I have a bunch of filter floss and filter pad and all that that I could put in there. But I'm hoping, you know, either way, It'll just burn itself out given given time, and I'm gonna meanwhile stop with the manure dosing here just until this, at least in this, in the main display here, until it burns itself out. And I remember Mike Paletta saying well, a lot of these um, 
you get these diatoms like that, just stop dosing what you're dosing and then you just give it give it time, it'll burn itself out, you know, and so that's it's you know, kind of regardless on what your nutrients and lighting is at, it should be just burn itself out. I mean, other options, you know, drop the lighting. We can't really do that too much with the corals here. And as far as the nutrients too, I'm trying to get the nutrients up and everything. So I don't want to do like try to, you know, as experience I've had too, you try to, usually with the, the light and the corals, usually the, you know, the, the algae will out, the corals will die soon before the, you know, before the algae does. <laughs> so the algae seems to be more resistant than the corals. So I'm just going to burn it out and give it, you know, be patient, give it time and see what that does. So... Here's the Heliofungia, he's looking the same, he's on his uh, base and I got him super glued down on there and uh, yeah, he looks to be great. Uh, I was kind of worried about him might get some damage on his tissue, get an infection or anything, but no, he's, he looks just fine so far. So keep an eye on him though. And everything else the same, back glass, same, but I'll just check it out from this side. More of the ugly right here. Ugly algae bloom aquarium right here. Reef manure reef. This is it right here. Manure reefing. What do you think, uh, Yugo Tang? He says he likes the he loves the manure because he eats the manure. You're not supposed to eat the manure, Yellow Tang. I'm telling him he he prefers the manure over his nori. Tell them no, dude, don't eat the manure and he eats it all. And, and hey man, go for your go for your nori. No, he doesn't want the nori. He goes for chicken manure. Alright, dude. Alright, so I guess it's cool. He does what you know, he likes what he likes. And alright, the clams are the same. Okay. Here's a quick shot of this side over here. Ganyo pour is still still closed up, so. That's kind of worrisome. But everything else is doing good. We've got Duncan. He's looking good. Elegance is looking good. Check out this side really quick. See the Duncan's little open, little, the main polyps right there. And got the mushrooms over here. Yeah, it's good. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to show you guys today is the coral scrubber. That's right, you probably heard of an algae scrubber. Well, this is in fact a coral scrubber. So, the idea is that I'm running it. Well, it's not my idea. I mean, I got the idea from what I've seen uh, mainly in Germany. I've seen quite a few uh, aquariums over there. Well, I saw it on, on YouTube. And um, let's see, I think it was Bulk Reef Supply, possibly, or the Bulk Reef Supply TV. I think they did. I saw an episode on there anyway that one it was a German aquarium and it was like that and it's uh yeah the corals down all on the bottom it was like a frag aquarium system. I said, Oh that's kind of a cool idea. So yeah, that's where I got the idea of having to frag corals down here. And that's what it's it's gonna be a coral scrubber. Yeah, I'm running the, the lights at the opposite to the main system, such that it's running like eight hours on the bright lights. Oh, bright lights. I have the, on this one right here, I have that Ecotech, uh, Ecotech Radeon XR30. So, that's more than enough light to put, shoot down here for this area. And, but the idea I wanted to have enough light to run whatever acropores down here, you know, well, small polyp corals at the time. But for now, you know, I just threw some. Uh, mushroom rock right there and some other fuzzy mushrooms, discosoma and uh, some Ricordia and the finger leather. Just talk about oh and the it's a goniastria right here and the pulsing xenia. So see what they do and it's, of course you're gonna see how practical it is. Oh the light went down. Well, anyway, because I just put on a temporary uh, uh the thing on the on the radio for the light to come on but um but yeah that's it uh, you know see how practical it is down here to clean it's going to be you know a lot of work it's the same as on the top as far as cleaning the the algae and everything in the glass and of course i want to 
get some of the snails. I got the yellow tang down here still. Come on, dude. See, he's in the way in the back behind underneath the filtration system. <laughs> That's his cave back in there. So, oh yeah, so get some snails down here and everything else to help with the algae and everything else. See how it does, see if it works. I don't know. Check for future updates to see. See, you know, and I went down and I had the, the sand and gravel right there. Probably should have put uh, just with the crushed coral, but, you know, I went with the live sand down there because I was trying to get to seed everything, to get everything really nice and seeded as well, so... And, you know, I could remove that at some point in the future, so we'll see. Check back for future updates as far as that goes. Yep. Alright, guys, I guess I guess that's it for manure reefing for today. But check back for future updates because everything could be dead from one day to the next. I have no idea. Alright, bye.